tight-knit community in mourning tonight after a crash takes the lives of two teenagers and leaves a third fighting for his life. It happened this morning on Lane Road near Highway 321 and East Gaston High School. News Channel 36 reporter Mario Roldan took our mobile newsroom to the scene. It looks terrible. A red Chevy pickup in pieces. Marks me down every time. East Gaston High School classmates torn apart. It hurt me bad because all three of them was like my brothers. Passengers Travis Mintz and Nicholas White died instantly. Both were just 16. We just brought the driver out and tried to get him to safety. Witnesses near the Sunoco gas station on Lane Road pulled Daniel Rowland Jr. from his burning truck. Once they got him out, we tried to get the other ones out, but there was no hope. About a half mile away from their high school, troopers say Rowland ran off the road, overcorrected, and crashed with a Dodge Durango. The impact knocked off the bed of the truck. If, they, if it was something dangerous, they were like, all right, I'll try it first. It was daring, outrageous. And it may have cost two of them their lives. None of the teens had their seatbelts on. I don't have the words to describe it. I mean, it's like it wasn't supposed to happen. It's all a dream. TJ teams and other classmates scoured the crash site. The belt buckle. To remember two of their lost friends. Heartbreaking, man. Daniel Rowland, uh, I just checked in. Daniel Rowland, known to friends as Duck, remains in critical condition at Carolina's Medical Center. The woman driving the Durango works at the high school. I'm told Linda Hamilton is conscious and alert. Tonight's East Gaston High football game is canceled. Live in the newsroom, Mario Roldan, News Channel 36.